A shocking announcement from federal investigators today. Nine people from our area are charged with stealing art and sports memorabilia across the country. How the decades old case was finally cracked. It's our top story on Newswatch 16 at 5. Good afternoon to you and thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Washington. Stacey Lang has the day off. We begin in Scranton after a 20 year crime spree. Police say they know who stole priceless art and sports items from museums around the country and they are all from Lackawanna County. Newswatch 16's Emily Crash joins us live from outside the federal courthouse with details. Emily. Lisa, authorities say a piece of forensic evidence found at one of the crime scenes three years ago helps them to connect all of these dots. And now nine people are facing charges. A decades long art and sports memorabilia heist ring busted by federal investigators. Officials say nine people from Lackawanna County face federal charges. As the indictment unsealed this morning clearly shows, the FBI and our partners will never stop working until brazen thieves such as those charged here are brought to justice. The thefts happened across the country. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Rhode Island, North Dakota, Massachusetts, and New York. The group is accused of breaking into the Yogi Berra Museum and taking nine World Series rings, seven championship rings, and two plaques. Items treasured not only by the owners, but by those who appreciate artwork, in sports across our country. In Lackawanna County, several spots were targeted, including the Scranton Country Club in 2011. Thieves left with 11 trophies, four of those awarded to Art Wall Jr. The Everhart Museum in Scranton back in 2005, when an Andy Warhol and Jackson Pollock paintings were stolen. The Warhol was an extremely valuable cultural piece, and the Pollock was just, you know, so special unto itself. So the loss of any uh, piece of art within the museum is a terrible loss for our community. Authorities say after stealing the items, the group would bring them back to Lackawanna County to one of the suspects home. They would melt the items down into metal discs or bricks so the raw metals could be transported and sold in New York for hundreds or thousands of dollars. Some of those items destroyed include boxer Tony Zales championship belts from the International Boxing Hall of Fame. It's just impossible to think that they would have melted down something that is so historic. They're invaluable to our family. I'm sure they didn't get much out of them. Eight out of the nine suspects are in custody. 53-year-old Nicholas Dombeck of Thornhurst is still on the run. The FBI is asking anyone with information on his whereabouts to give them a call. Reporting live in Scranton, Emily Kress, Newswatch 16.